okay dear students let us see what is there in this question now the light with photons of energy 8 into 10 power minus 20 joule are incident on a metal surface in a photoelectric experiment as shown in the diagram the work function of the metal surface is given as 4.8 into 10 power minus 20 what minimum voltage is required for the ammeter reading to fall to zero so first of all why the ammeter reading will fall to zero uh, for example this is the battery and this is positive and this is the negative end so this plate will become positive and this plate will become negative because it is, because it is connected to the negative terminal of the battery now what happens is the incident light this is the photosensitive material here so the electrons will get out of the surface and will start moving towards the other plate but the problem is because this plate is now negatively charged it the electron will start getting repelled from the plate so lesser number of electrons will be able to reach the second plate so current will now start decreasing but there will be a certain value of v at which the last electron the electron with the maximum kinetic energy will go and it will just come back and so no current will pass through the circuit and the reading of the ammeter will become equal to zero it means that the current flowing in the circuit will now become zero this potential at which this thing is done it is denoted by vs and it is known as stopping potential <clears throat> and it is known as stopping potential the potential at which the current will stop at which the flow of electron will stop that is called stopping potential now the loss in kinetic energy here by the electron is equal to uh, the energy that is provided by the battery that is the concept here so <clears throat> first of all we need to find the maximum kinetic energy so Einstein's photoelectric equation is as follows h nu is the energy of photon and sum of this energy is taken by the plate as work function and the rest of the energy will be given to the electron as the maximum kinetic energy possible and according to our question this is 8 into 10 power minus 20 and the work function is 4.8 into 10 power minus 20 plus kinetic energy from here first of all we are going to find the maximum kinetic energy and that will be 8 minus 4.8 so that is 3.2 into 10 power minus 20 joule the units are very important in this question so always concentrate on units here we have found the kinetic energy with the SI units that is joule now how how do we define one electron volt because our answer is in volt and we want to find the potential so one electron volt is the unit and this is defined as 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule so what we do here is uh, v by l that can be done but uh, we need not to go there okay fine yes this is this will be the shortest method that i'm going to suggest so one electron volt is equal to this so first of all we have to convert this thing into electron volt so how this energy will be converted we will divide this energy by 1.6 and we will find how many electron volt is that so 3.2 into 10 power minus 20 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 electron volt so this gets cancelled and it will be divided by 10 now and this will be divided by 2 so our energy is this so this much is the energy that we need to supply to stop the movement of the electrons and what does this mean this means now 0 0.2 electron volt it means that to stop one electron you need 0 0.2 volt of the potential difference and that is why our answer is going to be a okay so if there are some other like there are two let us say there are two electrons so you would be needing 0 0.1 volt so our answer would be 0 0.1 volt but in this case we would be considering only one electron that is why the answer is a so my dear students this is professor varun and please mention in the comment section if you have any other doubt do subscribe to the youtube channel all the best